In our last episode, we had to help Gentleman Johnny Two Guns Weston with a personal favor before he'd agreed to help us raid Vault 79. After completing the task, we either agreed to give him 50% of the Vault Hall or convinced him to take a more reasonable cut. Either way, when the job was done, and with Johnny on board, we can head back to Crater to tell Meg that the raid's a go. We got everything we need, so we're just waiting on you to make up your mind, 7-6. You ready to roll? However, this is a point of no return. Doing so sides with the raiders and locks out the Foundation line of quests. And if that's what we want, we can click OK. How are you feeling about the vault raid? Pretty good, 7-6. With your plans and the best damn crew I could ask for, I think we got a good shot at this. Is everyone ready? Lou's already setting up explosives at the vault entrance. Gail's always ready. And for the amount you promised Johnny, he best jump when I say jump. So yeah, as soon as Lou gives the word, we're ready. I'm ready. All right, go meet up with Lou at the vault entrance. See if he needs any help. The rest of us will head out in a bit. Then we'll do this thing. You dig? With that, we complete the quest, siding with Crater. We failed the quest, siding with Foundation, and we begin the quest from Russia with Lev. We need to meet the Raider gang at the entrance to Vault 79. Now, we already explored the elaborate lead-up to discovering the entrance to Vault 79 in my video on Flavia Stavo that you can watch here. But even if we didn't do that unmarked side quest, we get the combination to the keypad guarding the entrance to Vault 79 by getting this far along in the quest with Meg and her Raiders. With the combination in hand, we can head to the mysterious cave and punch in the code. The doors swing aside, and we can enter the elevator. We arrive at the subterranean entrance to Vault 79, and here we find Lou with... a bear? Watch out! It's all pissed off now! Lou appears to be bound and on his knees, and then a bear attacks. Kill that thing. What the heck was that all about? I'm too old for this kind of crap. Yeah, I don't blame you, Lou. After untying him, we can try to talk. Thanks. She sure took him long enough. I thought we agreed you wouldn't try to kill yourself until this was all done. Ah, Jagoff. Only you weren't me this time. Are you okay? Who did this to you? Yeah, I just pissed off is all. Those freaking traitors were never gonna be able to kill me anyway. Lou, what the hell happened? Friggin' traitors is what happened. That asshole left. He's had it in for him since the start. Don't like us ghouls. He got Fisher, Surge, and some others on board to sabotage us. They jumped me while I was setting up demo charges around the vault door. They must have been familiar with our plan. Because they took off with my detonator and left me here to die. <laughs> Joke's on them. Ian showed up for the Trank dot wore off on our friend over there. Who is Lev, and why would he do this? He's just some Soviet former mobster, Jagger. He and his crew joined up with us a while back. You probably saw him hanging around a crater core, back thinking of himself as Meg's number two. But I don't think she thought the same. Don't know why he did what he did. Maybe just hates ghouls. Maybe he hates the rest of Meg's gang. Maybe both. I'll remember to ask him next time he tries to kill me. Fisher? Wasn't he your friend? He and Lev have been friends longer, of course. He might have had to do with me. Had words with Fisher after he tracked me down when I specifically told him not to. Said some things I probably shouldn't have. Guess I was right about him being a damn traitor. Can't we just do this without the detonator? Nah. All the charges have to go off at the same time. And we gotta be a safe distance away. That detonator's key to doing this job. So what do we do now? Well, if Yinz want to get into that vault, we gotta get that detonator back. The dude, I 
We gotta find Lev. But first things first, you gotta tell Meg. Get her to get a team together to hunt him down. Go on. I'll be fine here. Doubt those Jagoffs coming back. Oh, great. Lev took the demo charges, and it looks like he turned a number of the raiders against Meg, including Fisher, our Amish friend. Exploring the entrance to Vault 79, we see that it hasn't changed much. We find Flavia's skeleton exactly where they left it. We find the Vault 79 entrance terminal here, the contents of which I covered in my video on Flavia Sabo. I figured someone showed up. Just glad the ends did before I lost an arm or something like that thing. With Lou here waiting for us, we have nothing to do but head back to Crater and tell Meg the bad news. Been hoping to run into you. Something fishy's going on here. You know anything about where Lev is? I was going to ask you the same. Hell, I wouldn't be asking you if I knew. Lev tried to kill Lou and sabotage our plans. Bastard did what? Now that I think of it, I haven't seen him, Fisher, Surge, or a bunch of others either. Guns and other supplies have gone missing too. I think we got ourselves some defectors. Why would Lev and the others defect? Lev and I don't always see eye to eye. Like he kept asking why I gotta let all the freaks and misfits into the gang. His words, not mine. Seems his bigot panties get all in a twist because people are different. Meanwhile, some of these misfits are the best people we got. You take folks like Gail and Lou out of this operation, and we ain't got no vault heist, you dig? There's value in embracing those differences. Believe me, the irony ain't lost on me that he's taking some of my crew and running off. Just like I did with the diehards. Do you think anyone else here might still be working with Lev? No damn doubt about it. Someone like Lev's not dumb enough to leave anything to chance. Well, I'm sure he left a mole behind to report our activities back to him. The question is, who? Let's get a search party together and hunt them down. Nah, too risky. We gotta play this cool, 7-6. Lev's a crafty son of a bitch. He's gonna expect a move like that from me. But you know what he ain't gonna expect? You. One lone 7 -sixer who don't play by the same rules. I know you got the skills. That's why I'm trusting you to do the hunting yourself. So, how do we find them? I'd bet dollars to donuts that Lev left some poor sap behind to keep an eye on us and report back if we made a move against him. I done some digging. Seems like Creed, Axel, and Barb were each talking to Lev right before he left. I think it's one of them. Problem is, they're all liars in their own ways. Maybe, if you go with the right approach, you can get something out of them. What can you tell me about Creed? Creed's kind of a liar, but only up to a point. He's a major pushover. If you put enough pressure on him, he'll always buckle and come clean with the truth. What's the scoop on Axel? Good kid. Seems to be pretty honest. Unless he's protecting someone he cares about. Then, he's got a reliable tendency to lie for them and be the fall guy. What about Barb? I like Barb, but she's all about self-preservation. She's quick to lie to save her own ass but love seeing someone else fall from grace. She'll snitch if she knows someone else is guilty. Okay, I'll see what I can do. You've got my permission to deal with the mole as you see fit, but you better be damn sure they're a mole, and only after you get them to squeal about Lev. Oh, and 7-6, if nothing turns up, check with the bartender, Molly. She sees and hears things. She's reliable and trustworthy, but her talk may not come cheap, so I wouldn't go to her unless you need to. Good luck. So we need to find the mole. Heading outside, we can start with Creed. We find him in a big red tent to the northeast. Hey, what do you want? Meg just wanted me to ask some people some questions about Lev's disappearance. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd be happy to help. Lev's gone, and you're gonna tell me what you know about it, or else you're gonna answer to Meg. Jeez, no need to be so hostile. I'll talk. Well, I'm new around here, and I don't know much about you. What can you tell me? Well, me and my sister Barb joined up with uh, Lev's crew before he merged groups with Meg's gang. Uh, I mostly do work here at the crater because I don't really like going on the raids. Not really sure what else to say. What do you know about Axel? Axel? He's my best buddy. Something wrong? 
Did he cover for Barb again and get himself into trouble? She doesn't deserve him. Huh? Is that something that happens often? Huh. <laughs> More than you'd think. He'd rather get in trouble himself than see someone else. Say. Like, just a couple weeks back, I was playing cards, and I may have used some sleight of hand to give myself an itch. Search figured it out, but Axel stepped in and told her he slipped me an extra ace card while he was dealing. Saved my ass, but got his own beat. Then Barb ratted on him, told Serge he was just lying to protect me, and Serge just beat his ass again. Do you think he might be working with Lev? I don't like to think that my best friend's a traitor. But yes, it's possible he's Lev's mole. I've seen Axel sneak into Ren's comm station to radio with Lev when she's not around. At least, I imagine that's what he's doing. Really? Are you sure about that? Yeah. It bothers me to think that he's been working with Lev this whole time. Though, I wouldn't put it past him if he was doing it to protect Barb somehow. That's enough about Axel. Sure thing. Are you working for Lev? You're kidding, right? Lev hates my guts. Ever since I told Meg that he was harassing my sister, there's no way we would work together. Just the other day, he told me that his only regret would be not killing me in my sleep. Didn't make much sense at the time. Now I realize it's because he was about to skip town. I'm not buying it. I think you're working for him. No, really. Lev would sooner shoot me dead than work with me. It's Axel. Axel's the one who's working with Lev. I'm going to find out sooner or later, so if you want to live, tell me the truth now. Shit. Fine. I lied about Axel. I don't know if he's working with Lev or not. I just said it to get you off my back. But, but, it ain't me, either. I swear to you, I could never work with Lev. If I knew where he went, I'd be the first to tell you. So you could put a bullet in his forehead. What can you tell me about Barb? Barb's my little sister. Been taking care of her since our parents died. Or at least, trying to. Careful what you say around her. She gets a kick out of throwing other people under the bus. Especially when they screw up and lie about it. So, she's a snitch? What's the deal with that? Damned if I know. She's a troublemaker, and always lies to cover it up. But maybe she thinks if she rats on others, people won't think she's lying herself. She snitched on Johnny when he messed with Ren's radio. I guess Ren thought she was trustworthy after that. Later, she killed Ren's dog because it wouldn't shut up. She got away with it. Ren totally bought Barb's alibi. Would she ever work for Lev? No way. That creepy old Russian used to make passes at her. It was ugly. Barb always used to complain about it until I told Meg about it. Meg finally threatened his manhood with a shotgun and told him to step off. He backed down. You're sure Barb wouldn't be working with Lev? Uh, yeah. I already spoke to Barb and asked her about it. I know my sister. She wouldn't be in league with that guy. Are you hiding something, Creed? Do I need to beat the truth out of you? Okay, okay. The truth is, I don't know if Barb is or isn't working for Lev. I never actually talked to her about it. I seriously have no idea who's working with Lev. All I know is it isn't me. I swear it's the truth. I think I know enough about Barb now. <laughs> Probably too much, am I right? For some reason, Creed felt the need to lie to us. He kept pointing us towards Axel, and he seemed to be very protective of his sister, Barb. I wonder why. Heading to the outskirts of Crater, we can track down Axel. You need help with something? Meg's having me ask people about Lev's disappearance. You know anything? Uh, I might. What do you need to know? Meg suspects you know something about Lev's disappearance, and she sent me to shake it out of you. Hey, hey, I'll tell you what you need to know. No need for trouble. Tell me a little about yourself. Oh, you want to know about me? Someone needs to teach her. I don't know what to tell you. I work a lot, so no time for hobbies, really. I go on raids, do odd jobs around here. You know, whatever Meg needs me to do. What do you know about Creed? Creed is Barb's older brother. He's a good guy, but he cracks under pressure. I wouldn't trust him with a secret. Know what I'm saying? Why shouldn't I trust him? Uh, he recently borrowed some tools from Fisher. 
Now, Fisher's not a very confrontational kind of guy, but he kept grilling Creed about it. And Creed eventually told him everything. Uh, it turns out Creed was just trying to rebuild a suit of power armor he found. When Fisher found out, he took it to rebuild it himself. Probably the right call. Creed would have wrecked it. Do you think he might be working for Lev? Nah, I don't think so. Lev wouldn't trust Creed not to reveal where he went. Besides, Lev hates Creed. Something to do with Creed trying to protect Barb from him. Things aren't good between them. That's enough about Creed. Anything else? What can you tell me about Barb? You mean Creed's sister? Uh, she and I, uh... uh ah, she's great. <laughs> uh, people say she's a snitch. But then they're just mad she ratted them out for doing something they shouldn't have done. A snitch? How so? This one time, Meg thought Barb stole some snack cakes from her personal supply. But me and Barb saw Rara do it. Barb doesn't like kids, so she told Meg what actually happened instead of letting me cover for Rara. But luckily Meg saw it for what it was. Just a hungry kid who wanted something to eat. And she gave Rara the rest of her snack cakes. You hesitated there. Is there something I should know about you and Barb? Nah, I mean, uh... Well... Alright, look, Barb and I are an item, but... I don't see how that's your business. Any chance she could be working for Lev? What? No, that's crazy. I'm the one working for Lev, not Barb. If you're working for Lev, tell me where he is. I, uh, I, I don't know. He, he, he didn't say. Lev would tell you where he was so you could report back to him. You're not the one. No, it's really me, and I'm sorry for it. But you gotta believe me. I don't believe you'd risk exile or death for someone you're having a little fling with. Has to be someone else. Whoa, 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 whoa. No need to go asking anyone else any questions. Really, it was me. I think you're working for Lev. Damn it. You're right. I am. I'm sorry. I uh, should have come clean earlier. Uh, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Hmm. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I'll be around. So Brother Creed insists it's not him, but wants to deflect suspicion away from his sister, blaming the boyfriend, Axel. And boyfriend Axel also wants to deflect suspicion away from Barb, even willing to fall on his own sword and take the blame himself. This paints a very vivid picture. Barb has done something both her brother and her boyfriend want to keep secret. It's likely that Barb is the mole. But to find out for sure, we can head to bartender Molly to see what she knows. Hey, you got time. I got something that can make it worthwhile. People hey, think look who we got here. What's good with you? First. Word is you might have some information I'm looking for. I might. I got lots of information. I also got lots of expenses. They cost me around 300 caps a week. Know what I'm saying? On second thought, I think I'll go find out what I need myself. All that for nothing? Good luck, then. You know where I work if you need me. Turns out I have an extra 300 caps to spare. Here you go. You're too kind. So, what was it you needed to know? Any idea where Lev is? That's a million cap question, ain't it? Guy makes a mess of things and skips town with a bunch of traitors. Now, of course, everyone wants a piece of him. But if I'm being honest with you, I'd tell you if I knew where he was. Cross my heart. But here's the rub. I don't. But I do know that Barb is acting as his mole. Yeah, they were talking about it outside my bar. Thought I couldn't hear him, but I got wicked good hearing. Couldn't make out where he said he was going, but Barb will know for sure. You tell Barb I overheard, and she'll have no choice but to confess. Your information better be right, or I'll be back. Cool your horses, my info's good. You'll see, then you'll be back to thank me. And Molly confirms it. The mole is Barb. And we find Barb inside the crater core. Taking the spiral staircase in the middle all the way down to the ground floor, we find Barb milling about. Jason after yeah. a damn toy. What is it? So there's a traitor among us, but I'm still looking for information. You'll stick around if you know what's good for you. I'd only leave if I was guilty. If you're looking for the traitor, why don't you go ask Creed? I know your love's mole. Molly said she heard you and Love talking. Molly doesn't know shit. 
How can she hear anything with the racket they make at her stupid bar? The evidence all points to you. If you confess, I'll make sure Meg doesn't kill you. Let's imagine for a moment that I am working with Lev, which, of course, I'm not. Say I were to confess, even if Meg wouldn't kill me, she'd exile me. And wouldn't that be just as bad? Lev would find me and kill me. You know, if I was the one. If you tell me where to find Lev and I kill him, then problem solved. Meg won't even have to know. Hmm. You got a deal. You better not screw me over. Lev's been building a hideout inside one of his cooling towers at Poseidon Power Plant. He's gotta be there. He said he'd pay me if I kept an eye out for him, in case someone went looking for him. That's all I know. Uh, so you're the sucker that went don't with tell Johnny's Meg. Crazy plan. I swear I'll keep the quiet. Gets what he wants. Now at this point, we could betray her and attack anyway. Or we can say, your secret's safe with me. But if you continue to work with Lev, I'll kill you myself. Yeah, yeah, uh, I get it. Loud and clear. By sparing her life and getting the information, we earn a healthy dose of Raider reputation. At this point, even if we wanted to portray Barb, we couldn't. Talking with Meg, we can't tell her anything we just learned. So now, we need to find Lev. And Barb told us that he was hiding out in one of the cooling towers at the Poseidon power plant. Heading that way, we find a brand new interior cell, the Poseidon Energy Plant WV06 South Expansion. Inside, we find our raider sleeping behind a counter. Hey, guy. Oh, he's hostile. Yeah. On a shelf near to his bed is the holotape Blood Eagle Oath, which we've covered a couple of times already in previous episodes. To the west, we find a staircase heading down. We find raiders. These raiders must be traitors that Lev convinced to ditch Meg and stick with him. They're all hostile, and we have to fight our way through them. Once the raiders are clear from this large room, we find a path that opens up to the west, where we see more raiders. Exploring this large room first, we find a bunch of junk at a seating area beneath a large platform and a ramp leading up to the top of this platform. Here we find a glitched out raider. Oh well, guess I'll leave her alone. And that's it. So to continue, we can head west. This pathway leads directly to the cooling tower. We see that Lev and his raiders have built a fortress in the middle of it and are occupying platforms and scaffolding surrounding the cooling tower. If I were in my power armor, I'd probably go in shotgun blazing, but on my squishy little gunslinger, I was a bit more cautious. That is Caleb Fisher, and he's wearing the suit of power armor that we learned about during this questline. The suit of power armor that he's been fixing up, making him a formidable foe. I you and Meg are forcing my hand! Looks like Caleb had to choose sides. To side with Meg and Lou, Meg who took him in, Lou who was his friend, or to side with Lev, a raider whom Fisher more greatly respects. Looks like Fisher decided to embrace his ideology instead of his friendship. It'll take more than that to get this armor. And thus ends Caleb Fisher. Where's your philosophy now? Heading back to the cooling tower, we can finish clearing it. At the top, we find a sniper, and it's none other than Surge, another high-ranking traitor from Meg's Raider game. Damn it. I ain't giving up yet. 
With Surge and Fisher dead, we just have to mop up things before we face off with Lev. We find an armor workbench and a number of containers on this platform, heading down to the ground floor. Looks like Lev is probably holed up in that floating pod in the middle of the cooling tower. As we circle the tower to try to find a path up, we find a broken pipe to the right. Heading inside the pipe leads to an adjacent room where we find more raiders. <sighs> Moving out of the pipe, we arrive in a rectangular room. The floor above us has crumbled into the room below. A doorway to the right to storage is blocked in with rubble, but we do find a door to the east. This door leads to the pre-Wastelanders portion of the Poseidon power plant. It's not related to this quest, so we don't need to go down here. Instead, we can turn north to scale a small staircase, whereupon we arrive at a platform and where we can loot some bodies. And here we find, oh, a chainsaw. I guess they really could have had chainsaw battles at the Watoga Civic Center. Moving south, we can pass over a walkway to the east where we find a small shack and a holotape. Apologies to Lou. Hey, Lou. Not sure you'll ever get this, but I needed to get something off my chest. I know I had once called you friend. It may not mean much, but I am genuinely sorry for what I had to do to you. But you have to understand, I had no other choice. Meg is a terrible leader. I questioned why Lev would ever join her. He always intended to take over one day. But she kept bringing on new people, building loyalty, making it more difficult for him to mutiny. Then Meg decided to go on this foolish gold hunt with that vault dweller from 76. It was time to act. She was going to lead us all to ruin. And it was too late for me to reach you because you were already involved. I couldn't risk the operation if you said anything to me. Well, I uh, hope your luck holds out and you survive long enough to hear that I'm sorry for all of this. What do we even say? He made his choice. He just thought Lev was a better leader. The apocalypse taught him that only the strong survive, and in Lev, he thought he saw a stronger leader. I suppose we can respect his choice. Shame for him that it ended up being the wrong one. The door to the south leads to a makeshift platform that we can use to scale the inside ring of this cooling tower. Along the way, we can pick off a few remaining raiders. On one of the platforms, we find a magazine that we can add to our collection. Even further up, we find a couple of ammo canisters, a duffel bag, a mounted frog on a wall. Cool. And at the very top, we find a pipe that leads to the top of the central chamber. Here, we can loot Surge's body. And on her corpse is Lev's hideout key. Moving to the platform in the center of the room, we find Surge's holotape lying on a table. Bless y'all's hearts. Hey y'all, Lev wanted us to leave behind some messages to all you crater folks who were leaving behind. Guess it's like a final fuck you to y'all or something. I don't know, I just do what he says. So yeah, I know I won't miss y'all cheating at cards. I'm looking at you, Johnny. I can target a chipmunk's nuts at 2,000 yards with my 50 cal, and y'all don't think I see you slipping that ace out of your sleeve? Please! I will not miss sharing a home with a walking corpse and a green-skinned monster. Most of all, I won't miss Miss Meg taking in all the unnatural freaks of the wasteland. Like Lev says, only a matter of time before one of them snaps and kills y'all. <laughs> I will miss Molly and her supply of good booze. I ain't looking forward to doing without, I tell you that. So while Fisher betrayed Meg for practical reasons, because he believed that Lev was the stronger leader and only the strong survive, looks like Surge betrayed Meg out of bigotry. She just didn't like ghouls and super mutants. 
Nearby, we find a skillable three-locked box safe, a small amount of scrap, and with that, all we have left to do is scale the walls all the way back down to the ground floor, move south, and follow the walkways all the way to the chamber in the middle of the room. Here we find a terminal that appears to be connected to a nearby cage. It's locked with a skill check of two, but on this character, I couldn't hack it. Peering in the cage, however, looks like all we find here is some ammunition. I don't think we miss out on any lore by missing this cage. When ready, we can round the corner and open the door using Lev's hideout key. And there we find Lev, waiting for us. So the vault cockroach does makes dirty work now, huh? First, I need answers. No answers. You either grow backbone and kill me, or give up and cry home to Mother Meg. Here we can pass a variety of skill checks. We can pass an agility check of eight to say I'm quicker on the draw and you can't run from me, so tell me what I want to know. You may be quick with hands, but I think wit is lacking. Ask your questions. Prove me right. Or an endurance check to say, answer my questions. I'll wait here all day if I have to. Ha! It's Battle of Fortitude then. Ask your questions. We shall see who gets tired first. Or a strength check to say, you're going to answer my questions, and maybe I won't kill you. Oh? You think you intimidate me with big muscles and idle threats? Go on. Let me see if you can form coherent question. Or a perception check to say, I can tell you're afraid. Maybe answer some questions and I'll spare you. Afraid? Of you? Is not fear you sense, but amusement. Let me hear your words. They will amuse me some more. Why did you try to sabotage us? Opportunity. I was to be paid handsomely to stop you and hand over detonator. Opportunity to be rid of Meg and other weak, pathetic freaks. Animals she takes in. Who was going to pay you? Man from Foundation, named Rocco. Said he'd pay in guns, ammo, information. How best to strike Foundation and take for ourselves? Something Meg would never do. Hey, maybe you kill Rocco now. I don't give a fuck. What's your problem with Meg? Meg is too soft. She take in useless kids, freaks, animals, anyone she feel bad for. She tells us, recruitment is better. Kill only for food and supplies. I say we kill for more. Out there, it is kill or be killed. Do you really think anyone who isn't like you is a freak or an animal? Ah! Only room for strongest, best men in this world. Others have their uses, but they are not equal. You're disgusting, but I'm not done with you yet. Eesh, hurry up and get over with it. Well, there's something else I want to know. Are you going to shoot me now, or bore me to death with questions? Why'd you target Lou? Lou? Sad old walking corpse. Was easy target. Ogo should be dead. Got tired of waiting for him to kill himself. Took matters into own hands. He had detonator, which was key to your plans. Kill Lo, get paid to ruin plans. Sounds good to me. You should know he's still alive. You failed. Eh, for now. Old fool will kill self sooner or later. It's bad enough he wants to die without you trying to kill him. Who do you think put idea of going feral into Lou's head? <laughs> Much easier to get away with if he kills himself. Enough! Let's talk about something more important. Let's talk about how you are spineless whelp who won't shut up already, yes? Why didn't you break into Vault 79 yourself? Vault is waste of time. I hear talk of gold. Gold is useless. Real value comes from guns, food, ammo, information. I get better offer to ruin your plan. You would have found those in the vault too, you idiot. You take me for food. But 
mind. I am not the one breaking into top secret government installation full of armed guards and deadly machines. Enough! Let's talk about something more important. How about you, NPC? I grow tired of your talking like yippy little dog. Give me one reason I shouldn't kill you now. I will not. I would do the same to you in this situation. Wait, no, I would not even talk. Just kill. You want to do this the easy way or the hard way? Is easy way the one where you shut up and kill me already, please? Once we've exhausted all dialogue, we can at last say... You're done, Lev. Hand over Lou's detonator. No. <laughs> you grow spine. Take it from my corpse like true survivor. We can either attack immediately, or give him a chance to live. No. You can walk away from this if you just give me the detonator and leave Appalachia forever. I am no coward like you. You want it? Kill me is only option for you. Well, that attacks! <laughs> uh, chainsaws are rubbish! <laughs> das Vidanya, comrade. On his corpse, we find Lou's remote detonator. At last, we can finally get into that vault. Near to his body is an end-of-dungeon steamer trunk. And on a table near to a cap stash, we find Rocco and Lev's deal. Meg, I know you will find this tip. Also, I know we will be long time gone when you do find it. I know this because you are weak, ineffective leader. You could not leave gang out of wet paper bag. <laughs> too weak, too stupid, too cowardly. When I hear you invite that cockroach and want to go off on some ridiculous vault heist to find gold, I call that last straw. Serge and Fisher know how stupid plan is and how terrible leader you are, so they come with. Leave you behind with freaks and losers. Not this, Meg. We will gain more men. We will come back powerful. Then we wipe you and your freaks off map. By Note the name on this holotape. It was Rocco and Lev's deal. But the contents of the holotape seems to not have anything to do with that deal. It was more of a goodbye message to Meg. But the name of the holotape does remind us of Rocco. The guy Lev told us hired him to betray Meg. Who exactly is this Rocco? Was Foundation somehow involved in this? Before we go back to Meg, we've got some loose ends to tie up. Heading to Foundation, we can track down Ward. He's the guy who has information in this place to see what he knows about this Rocco. You got a lot of nerve coming here, but I know you wouldn't risk it if it weren't important. Do you know someone named Rocco? I do. Well, at least I did. Where's Rocco? Things will get pretty ugly if I don't find him. Well, I don't take kindly to threats, that's for sure. But if you'll cool your jets, I think I can help. A man named Rocco paid someone to kill and sabotage my friends. Where is he? Is that so? Problem is, we exiled Rocco for sowing discord all around Foundation. What did he do? Bunch of stupid shit. Like trying to turn people on each other in order to benefit himself. Then, while they were all riled up, he'd steal supplies out from under them and hoard it. Looked like he was trying to amass some sort of fortune in ammo and guns for who knows what. Maybe if you had just killed him, we wouldn't have a problem. We try to do things differently around here. We're not like those folks at Crater. We don't believe in the death penalty unless there's no other way. Exile's just as good at getting rid of someone who habitually causes trouble. That's their final warning. 
If they keep coming back, then that's when the guns come out. I just need to know where he is. Well, you're in luck then. We've been keeping tabs on him in case he tries anything stupid. I'll mark his location on your map. With that, he marks the location on our map. But we can learn more about Ward here and his interesting personality by reading a note on the table in front of him. Ward's journal. When I first got to Foundation, I hid my Raider history. I was ashamed of the things I'd done. I was afraid I would be punished by my new community. Mostly, I was afraid I deserved to be punished. Then I found an old copy of Be Better Than Your Worst Self by Dr. Bryce J. Hart. It changed my life. First, I had to admit my worst self to everyone. I confessed my Raider history. I thought for sure they'd exile me or lock me up. Instead, they forgave me. Second, I have to take a daily inventory of how I was better today than the worst I was yesterday. It's a meditation exercise. Third, I have to repeat, I'm better than this, to myself every time I get down or disappoint myself or others. I actually got it tattooed on my arm. Not where everyone can see it, but where I see it every day. Every day is a struggle, but every day I work to make myself and Foundation a better place to live. I just wish I could sign up for his 29-part self-help workshop series. They would be worth the $999 each. Oh, Ward. Well, whatever works for him. I think we understand now why he's so antagonistic towards someone with positive Raider reputation. He's had to work really hard to get out of that Raider lifestyle. I'm sure we'll get to know him a bit better later on. But for now, we've got to track down this Rocco guy. And the location Ward put on our map is actually really close. Near to Foundation is the Spruce Knob Campground, right next to Spruce Knob Lake. I come here pretty often to kill Mirelurk Queens for the Mirelurk Queen meat. On the shore of the lake are a couple of shacks, but new with Wastelanders, one of these shacks is accessible. This is the Spruce Knob Boat Rental. And it's here where we can find Rocco. Heading inside, we find a small store moving behind the counter. Oh, there's Rocco. Heading into the next room, we can chat with Rocco. Shit, what do you want from me? I heard you were going to pay Lev for a job. Ring any bells? Uh, yeah, maybe. What's it to you? That's all I needed to hear. Oh, shit. And by killing him, we gain a healthy dose of Raider reputation. In a room really close to where Rocco was sitting, we find a skill level zero locked box safe. And on a table next to it, we find the hollow tape to Meg and Crater Freaks. What are you doing? No need for tape. It's just a little insurance in case you need a reminder about the terms of our agreement here. Whatever. You'll do what you want. He's worthless anyway. Now go on. Let us talk payment. Sure. Like I said, I'll give you all the guns, ammo, and other supplies I took and hid away from Foundation. If, and only if, you ruin any chances of your people breaking into that vault. You get it all once you get me that detonator, so I can break in myself and bring the goods back to Foundation. You'll have to let me back in then. Yes, yes, yes. I get location of gun stash. You get to go on foolish endeavor. You know, you and your crew could always help me break in. Get a nice cut of the treasure, right? No. Old Cobb is useless. You will see. Ammo, weapons. That is new world currency. The hell with gold. Eh, you're missing out. But I guess we'll have to agree to disagree. Look, as long as you pay up after job is done, I won't regret not killing you when we found you. Can always come back to that if you're lying about Stash. No, 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 no lies, sir. Understood. We got ourselves an agreement then. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh... Uh... Lev, now put recorder away. 
We have alcohol on this shithole, yeah? Ah, we drink to seal deal. Note the name of this hollow tape doesn't actually match the contents. Here's what I think happened. I think Bethesda accidentally mixed up the name of this hollow tape with the last one we listened to. The last one better fit the title to Meg and Crater Freaks. This hollow tape better fit the title Rocco and Lev's Deal. But with this hollow tape, we have evidence that Foundation wasn't in on this. Rocco really was acting on his own. He was stealing from Foundation, which of course is why he got exiled and Lev, for all of his talk about Meg being a poor leader, hopped into the saddle alongside this Rocco, which was really, really stupid. Rocco was clearly desperate. He just wanted to get back into Foundation, and we don't even know if he really had a stash of weapons. Exploring this shack, we don't find much. It's possible that he hid them somewhere, but we never find out where they were. Lev betrayed Meg based on Rocco's word alone, and I think this fact proves that he really wasn't a better leader than Meg. Now that we've resolved the situation, we can head back to Crater. We can talk with Axel. I heard you found the traitor. Did uh, anything bad happen to her? I mean, them? We can talk to Creed. You got the real traitor? Sorry I lied about Axel. I panicked. We can head down and talk to Barb. My head. Hey, uh, you're not gonna tell Meg, are you? I swear I'm done with that creep Liv. So what did my screw-up brother Creed do now? Creed's your brother? Yeah. We've got each other's back. Of course I'm pulling his fat out of the fire most of the time. He tries, but I'm not so sure he's tough enough to survive here on his own. How'd you end up here? I came with Creed. We heard you could make your own fortune here and they didn't care where you came from. Can you trust any of these people? Yeah. They'll gut you like a fish and, uh, strip your corpse for caps, but, I don't know, at least they're upfront about it. Those Foundation Good settlers will Rara. gossip and lie yeah, about you behind your back before you know it. And take You'll it have out no friends. Us. Here, if I prove myself, they won't judge me. See you later. Not if I see you first. And we can talk to Meg. Come on, 7-6. You got this. Now get out there and get to work. What's the deal, 7-6? You get everything sorted out? I found Lev, killed him, and got the detonator back. I assume you had to kill Fisher and Surge, too. Shit. They were both great assets to have on our side. It's a damn shame Lev sunk his teeth in them and turned them against us. There was also an exile from Foundation who paid Lev to do it. Say what? Sucker better have got what was coming to him for that. I killed him. I know we got a different idea of murder than some of the other gangs. But that was the right call. You gotta set examples sometimes. No one fucks with us and gets away with it. You done good, 7-6. And with that, we get another dose of Raider reputation. Look, why'd you keep Lev around if you knew he was such an intolerant asshole? I knew he and I didn't always agree. But I gave him food, shelter, all the supplies he needed, and he always got the job done. I don't know. I should have trusted my instincts more. I should have known there was more to how he treated people around here. You can bet I'll do better about that now. We take in all kinds, so there ain't no room for insubordinate, intolerant pieces of shit like that around here. I had to kill most of the traitors. How's that gonna affect Crater? Man, I don't know. You did what you had to do. Fisher, he held this place together with that brilliant mind of his. Surge was a better shot than most. She never respected me as a leader. Even though we lost our best lookout, I think we'll be okay. And good riddance to the other traitors. Anyone who doesn't want to follow me, doesn't respect what I do for them, can take a hike. Those that ain't dead by your hands are in for a rude awakening out there by themselves. We should be good to go now. At least we got who we need for the vault raid still. So how about we all go break ourselves into a vault? Assuming nothing else gets in our way, we'll meet you at the entrance and crack that sucker wide open. It's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. With that, we complete the quest from Russia with Lev, get a huge boost of Raider reputation, and begin the quest, Buried Treasure. Lead Meg's crew of Raiders to break into Vault 79 and make off with the loot. But here's where our Raider story will end for now. 
In our next episode, we'll pick up with the settler plotline to see what would happen if we side with Foundation. And when done with that, we'll explore both factions as they uncover the secrets of Vault 79. I publish new Fallout videos each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss those episodes, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have already, but you still feel like you're missing out on YouTube notifications, consider following me on Twitter at Oxhorn. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I've got a shirt shop with completely unique designs that you can't find anywhere else. My designs come on shirts in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes, and in a wide array of colors. You can find them on other products as well, like smartphone cases, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. YouTube members and patrons on Patreon are becoming increasingly important as YouTube continues to make platform changes that make the future of YouTube monetization uncertain. So to all of my YouTube members and my patrons on Patreon, you have my sincerest thanks. I couldn't do this without you. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with more brand new videos.